What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel and as you guys see in the description today we're going to be doing a professional cheap paint job on my Miata. And it went from looking like this to this. And all I used was rattle can, some Rust-Oleum and some 2K clear. Right, so if you guys are new to my channel, I did the cartoon scheme on this thing and this thing got 11 million views on TikTok and like 5 million on Instagram. So I'm sure some of you guys have seen this thing. So the plan for this video is basically get rid of this cartoon scheme, create a splitter, the side skirt. I'm a I actually bought some eBay ones, but I'm just going to trace them and make them out of wood because I've seen a lot of videos of people having those and they start waving because of the heat because they get hot and they start waving and I don't like that look. Also, I don't know if you guys seen the, the mod people do by cutting the fender and pushing this thing in. And I actually already did it on this side. If you you can see also I already have this thing cleaned out and sanded down basically ready for paint so all I need to do is get rid of the rest of the thing and get it ready for paint and do the little splitters I am also gonna cut the rear bumper basically get rid of this bottom part and then you know have it ready for paint so let's get to it should be a fun day all right guys so here's the most important part if you ever done any paint or any body work you know that the prep is the most important part so giving it a good clean and a good sand down so it's nice and smooth is gonna play a big role on the quality of the finish after you lay the paint. Another thing to note is that I did not take the time to fill any of the body's imperfection. I'm just gonna sand it down and spray it. All right guys, so there it is. Pretty much all sanded down. I just need to hit the hood. Then I'm gonna cut the fender just like I did on the other side. Get that tucked in and then start removing the bumpers. So let's finish this thing off. So it's, I'm going to do this in like two days because I want to do the, the body first and then and then I have the bumper and the fenders here pretty much ready to go. I just need to, you know, bring them out and paint it. I want to do it outside because I don't want to get I don't want to get all that paint in the shop. You know, I shouldn't do it outside because it's going to be so much dust and bugs and stuff. But we're going to try to make it look good because I've done it before and it, it turns out OK. I think it should be fine. I mean, this is a cheap car, so I'm not going for, you know, high quality. All right guys, so as you guys seen, I covered everything up already, ready for paint. It's been a process for sure, but I think it's ready. I need to throw a bag over this wheel and I think I should be ready to start spraying that red. And then we'll hit it with some clear after that. We'll see how, how easy this turns out to be. It's a little windy, but I think it should be all right. Keep the flies away. So let's get to it. Let's start spraying this thing. All right, so here comes the fun part, laying the paint. So if you guys have ever used any rust -Oleum, you will know that rust -Oleum is pretty forgiving. And me spraying gloss, I was worried that I was gonna get a lot of striping due to the fact that I was spraying some big panels, but I was honestly pretty amazed after giving it a multiple coat, it turned out pretty good. All right guys, so I got the first coat on here. It was actually pretty tough because of the wind. I feel like I used more cans than I thought I was gonna use, but it, honestly, it turned out pretty good. There is a little few little, you know, specks of dust that are hitting it but I don't think it's such a big deal this hood is looking a little weird just because it's such a big piece so I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit before I clear it because I don't want I want to make sure there's no stripes on it so I'll probably hit another coat of red to see if I even it out it's such a big piece and my freaking wrist already hurts from holding that can but all in all it's looking pretty good I think once I hit it with that clear it's gonna look real good I think it's time to hit it with some 2k clear I'm gonna mix this it takes about a minute to shake I got them under the sun, so they should be pretty hot and should spray real good. All right, so here we go with the 2K Clear, and this is one of my favorites. I've used this thing multiple times. It's cool because it has a two-part mixture that once you pop it in, like you guys seen me do, it blends the hardener with the clear. If you spray it at a consistent speed all across the panel, this thing lays real good and real thick. So I don't think I'll have any problems when I start wet sanding it before I buff it. <laughs> All right, guys, there it is. Professional paint job done outside. Crazy how good this thing looks. The reflecting is unreal. Look at this hood. This thing's gonna look so good driving down the road. 
you know, I still got all the other pieces to do, so can't get too excited, but damn, can't wait to put this thing together. All right guys, so there it is, all put together. I didn't want to film putting it back together because I didn't want to make this video too long because then it gets boring. I, I'm sure if you want to see me out of getting put together, I'm sure you could find another video. But man, this paint job looks professionally done. Look at the gloss in this thing. This thing's unreal. So right now it's kind of hard to tell, but there is a lot of orange peel, which takes away from the gloss on the car. But man, this thing still looks real glossy. So on this side, I already went ahead and wet sanded and buffed it out. And man, it looks like glass pretty much. It's really hard to tell out here, but I'll put a video on here so you guys can see the difference. So I did say in the video that I was gonna make the splitter and the side skirts. And like I said, again, I didn't want to make the video too long, so I'll make a separate video on that for sure. But for now, I just wanted to show off this beauty because eh, the paint looks so professionally done and it's just rattle cans. It's unbelievable. I'm even amazed. All I'm going to do now is just basically take my time to wet sand it, get rid of all this little dust particles that got caught in the clear and smooth it all out. That way it will be way more glossier than what it already is. Well, guys, I hope this video was informative and you guys learned a thing or two. Sometimes you just need to get out there and try new things. I'm not a professional mechanic or an auto body paint guy or whatever. So, you know, and I went ahead and tackled this out on my own. You know, I have spray paint little things here and there, but never a full car. And this thing turned out real amazing for what it is. You know, a professional $200 paint job. You know, I'm mind blown. So I'm sure if you take your time, you could do the same thing. But stay tuned because I'm definitely going to make that video of wet sanding the car and buffing it out so it looks like glass. And I'm also going to ceramic coat the thing. That way the paint stays glossy and shiny for a long time. Stay tuned for more and thanks for watching. Peace.